Hey guys, so my wife was doing the children's church lesson this week, and uh, whenever she was talking, she wrapped up this gift, right, and then this box, and she told the kids, hey, I made this special present for you, and we're going to sit, and you're at the wait, though. You have to wait 60 seconds without saying anything, and if you say anything or make any noise, then we have to start the 60 seconds over again. And so they all sit there, right? And they had to restart the time once, but they made it. And so then they were like, okay, let's see what's inside. I mean, they were all thinking, well, it's probably like cookies. It's probably, you know, like all kinds of cool stuff, right? And so they were getting, she's kind of nagging them all. Like, oh, I think you all are going to love it. This is great, blah, blah, blah. And then all of a sudden they open it up and inside this box that took forever to open is an apple. And everybody's like, uh, you know, like, what, what? You know, like this prize, this, this present wasn't exactly what they were hoping for. And she basically took that and then she combined it um, with the idea that the Jews, whenever they saw Jesus, we're getting ready to celebrate Christmas. And, you know, like as Jesus showed up, he wasn't exactly what everyone was looking for, right? I mean, he's going around and he, you know, he's the Christ. And they believed that the Christ, because the Christ was going to come and set the captives free, he was going to, you know, set up a new reign. And because of this, they were expecting a conqueror that looked different than Jesus. They were not expecting a servant leader. They were not expecting the way that God provided. And Jesus is everything that the Old Testament says that he would be. But because of their own expectation of what things would be like or what he would be like, a lot of the Jews didn't, didn't realize that they were looking at the Christ or that they crucified the Christ. And so that being said, sometimes we as Christians can look at God and we can expect certain things and we... Eh, doesn't quite live up to our expectations. They're not exactly what we thought it was. And a lot of times we make these judgments without even really asking God anything, right? Like if, if I really wanted to know something, I'd, I'd look in his word, right? I wouldn't just go off of my assumption of different things that I've heard before. And I just want to encourage you, like as we kind of get ready for this new year and, you know, like it's time to look into the things of God with such a mind that you can figure out for yourself who he says he is. Because I can tell you, a lot of times it's very different than what we put in our head. A lot of people think that they have to clean up their life in order to get closer to God and that they have to do all these things. And God doesn't say that. As you draw near to him, then these things will fall off. They'll deal with themselves. A lot of them will. So I just want to encourage you. Don't rely on the things that you've heard, that you've heard, that you've heard. Don't rely on the things that you've expected in the past, but try to start fresh. See if you can find out something that you didn't understand about God before. Thanks for taking a minute.